welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 video. This time around we're gonna do some Forza science. We're gonna see how tire size affects the performance. Now at first that might sound a little boring because in a normal game you've only got tire sizes that range from that to that. So the difference is minimal but we are in a version of Forza Horizon 3 where we can build crazy stuff. So we're gonna see what the difference is in terms of acceleration, top speed and lap time. That's the three things we're gonna be looking at and we're gonna start off with, as you can see on this mighty Lamborghini Urus, with the massive tires. Those are 650 tires. Now to put that in some sort of perspective, that's almost twice the tire size of a Bugatti Chiron. Almost twice. So those tires are huge, you can't get them in the normal game. So we're gonna start off with, I'd say, a 0 to 100 time. So you guys will be seeing a timer and you can make out the difference between the thick and the thin tires. And here we go. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, we, we don't even need to change gear to hit 100 kilometers per hour, so that's kind of good. Gonna try another one. A little bit higher RPM. Okay. I don't think we're gonna go any faster. So you guys are gonna see the time right now, but I'm gonna switch to the Lamborghini Urus with the very thin tires. Now those are pretty cool, I have to say. Um, we're gonna load up the setup. Let's take a look at that one. Yeah, those are one centimeter thick. One centimeter, those are the, like the bigger part are the rims. I couldn't make the rims any smaller, unfortunately. Uh, same goes for the brake discs, so you can still see those. I couldn't make them any smaller um, without crashing the game, because if I set them to zero, the game doesn't really like that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, those are the thinnest tires we can possibly get. And it is the same tire compound as the thick tires. So we're gonna take a look again, if we can hit 100. Okay, we've got a little bit of wheel spin compared to the thick ones, that's interesting. So I'm guessing it's a little slower. I guess the grip levels are slightly lower. We're gonna try one more. A little better. Okay. I also kind of like the spoiler, the small one. I mean, I'm gonna show you guys the best possible time I've achieved. That was quite good. Okay, that was quite a good run. I don't think we can go any faster. So yeah, um, you guys are gonna see right now which car was faster. Now, without editing this video, my guess are the thick tires because there wasn't any wheel spin. So I guess those were faster. But now it's time to find out what car is faster in terms of top speed. Now for this, I disabled the traffic. So we have uh, like a straight runway and um, without any obstacles. We're gonna start off with the thin tires. Now, power of the car and so on is the exact same. So we're gonna see which one is faster. I doubt there is like a big difference between them um, because let's face it I mean it's not really gonna change things but we're gonna try it anyway also before some of you guys comment this again the Euros is not gonna reach its top speed in the final gear because oh I'm gonna quickly show you guys um, it's gonna reach top speed in around fifth or sixth gear because we've got eight gears like we don't need eight gears we won't go faster if we change up so yeah top speed probably in fifth gear um, let's see, 320, 3, uh, almost 330. I'm gonna convert this to miles per hour as well um, for you guys to check. But yeah, you're gonna see, um, we're gonna hit top speed. Can we hit 350? 3.46, 3.46. If, as you can see, if I change up gear, it's not really going any faster. And now we're gonna try the exact same thing with the thick tires. As you can see, I've already changed the tuning setup and let's go. We also started from the same point, so we've got the same runway. My guess is that this Euros with the thick tires is gonna be a little slower because in my head it would make sense because we've got a little bit more friction and a little bit more weight, which should negatively impact the top speed uh, in theory, so it might be minimal, I don't know, it might be just a very small difference. Okay, we are approaching 340, I think 346 was our old top speed, 345, 
345. It makes sense, it makes sense. Top speed a little lower than the normal one. And now we're gonna see how they fare in a race. Unfortunately, rivals mode and any other online stuff is not available in this version of the game. So I had to set up a blueprint event, which means we have to drive against other cars, but we can just let them drive for a bit and then do our lap and, and time it. So I don't think it's a huge problem. It's called thin versus thick. Now, gonna be honest, haven't tried this yet. So the lap time is not gonna be perfect, but I'm, I have the feeling there's gonna be a huge difference because the handling of the uterus is kind of weird with the big tires. So we're gonna let the other cars pass and then we're gonna do our timed lap. Now, oh, those uterus look kind of sick with the white track. Anyway, we're gonna line up right here. Uh, we won't cross the line yet. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna let the cars drive for a bit, the other one, so we don't catch up actually. Let's rev up and go. Start was decent. Okay, let's see how fast the thick tire Euros actually is. Now I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit because we're gonna kind of concentrate on the lap right now. Oh, brakes are not good at all. Oh my god! Okay, up on two wheels, that's kind of unusual. Okay, oh my, okay, well it's not a nice handling car, I can tell you that much. Uh, <laughs> going up on two wheels on every corner. Not exactly nice. Oh! Missed the apex on that one and two-wheeled action. Oh my god. Oh! The handling is really odd. Oh my god. Stop. Stop going on to two wheels. Oh my... Why is it doing that? I don't know. Okay, that lap time is not gonna be good. I think I'm gonna try a second time. Oh, Jesus. It just wants to go on the two wheels every single time. Okay, what can we get? 107. I think we have two runs and the faster run is the one that counts, I think. So we're gonna have one more attempt with the thick tires. First corner coming up. Break hard into that corner. Don't go on the two wheels, damn it! <laughs> you can't avoid it, you actually can't avoid it. It's such a weird handling car. Okay, a little bit slower through that corner. No two-wheeled action this time around. Maybe that's the way to go. I don't know. We're gonna see in the lap time. Oh, that's scary. Damn it! Stop going onto two wheels! Oh, okay, that was still kind of... Oh my god, stop. Stop doing that Lambo. Oh my, that wasn't even fast. And he still went up on two wheels. Okay. It's not easy to drive. Okay, I was breaking a little too early there. Oh my god. Like, you have no control of it going onto two wheels. Stop! <laughs> oh my god. 107 again. Now we are loading up the setup with the thin tires and we're gonna see how fast it goes round the track. Now, judging from the handling of the thick tire euros it can only be better right maybe there's not enough grip for it to go any faster but like judging from the acceleration there's still plenty grip left so this could be interesting okay so let's go a little bit more wheel spin off the line than the one with the thick tires but it's still okay okay i'm gonna see uh, I'm expecting the grip through the corners to be a little worse. Braking as well, so I'm gonna brake a little earlier than usual. Okay, brakes us. Oh, there is no grip. There is absolutely no grip whatsoever. Terrible understeer from the thin tires. There's no grip. There's actually no grip. Turning is not great. Brakes are not great. Okay, we can take no speed through corners. Like, literally no speed. I mean, we're not going up on two wheels, which is kind of good, I guess. But cornering speed is not existent right now. Oh my. That's understeer. That is the definition of understeer. Like, you turn in and nothing actually happens. Oh my. Ugh. Okay. Is that lap time gonna be any faster than the thick tire Euros? I doubt it is. Ooh, 10 or oh, 111. Oh, I can I go four seconds faster? I don't think I can actually. Break a little earlier, a little harder. Oh, there's just there's no grip. 
Like, it looks like I'm unable to drive this car, but there's literally no grip when turning in. Like, I'm trying my best here. Okay, that was a little better this time round, but... Like, that car makes you look like a terrible driver. Not even kidding. Oh, turn in! That wasn't even fast going into that corner. Okay. Gonna try and make up some time. Pick a bit of a wider line. Oh, there's no grip. Come on, turn! Turn, Eurus! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Accelerate, accelerate! Oh, 109, 1010? I think 109. So that's like two seconds. 109, okay. So yeah, that's... That's two seconds slower on that short circuit than the one with the thick tires. So yeah, I kind of forgot to do that, but I will also add the times of the stock euros. And I'm actually looking forward to like editing this video because then I'm gonna see the results. Um, I, right now I don't, that's crazy. Right, right now you guys know the results and I don't, that's kind of crazy. Anyway, let me know if you have any more ideas of like Forza science stuff we can do in this version of the game. Drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this and until next time, bye.